Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Today is Monday, November 13th. My dogs are barking at the mailman. So please, I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> but if you can, forgive me. <laughs> um, they are upstairs. I am downstairs. So, um, okay. Please let me know if you can hear me. Because I've been struggling since Thursday with my audio connection. And I just want to make sure before we get too far that you guys can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll wait and see if I have a comment. Hello, Carla. Hello, Carol. Can you guys hear me okay? I've got... Perfect. Awesome. Okay. I think maybe I figured out a loophole around this crazy mic situation. So, all right, let's get started. Welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. And today is day one of Christmas week that my friend Michelle Litwiller and I are doing together. So today through Thursday, we will be live. Um, each day to share a fun Christmas video with you guys. So today is Monday, November 13th, and I have a really fun treat little holder for you. Um, and if you popped on over from Michelle's video, oh my gosh, you guys, how cute was that sweet little box she made? I'm so excited to give it a try. Um, all right. Hello, Jody and Kathy. Look at everybody here. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm so happy to have you here and to stamp with you this morning. So we are going to be doing, like I said, a treat holder for Christmas week day one here. Uh, and we're gonna use the fun gift of giving stamp set. This is in the, or the mini catalog. And I have been dying to use this and the project I have today just fit just about perfectly. So that's what we're gonna use today. We're also gonna pair it with some of the super fun, Mary Bold and Bright, okay, I see that designer series paper. I do think if I had to choose a favorite, this Fala La paper would be my favorite <laughs> um, out of that whole pack. I love it, but I also do love all the light bulbs and the whole pack is amazing. Um, all right, so if you guys haven't already signed up for the Christmas stamp camp, you need to do that soon. Uh, registration closes on Friday. Um, and it is an absolutely adorable stamp camp. You don't wanna miss it. I'm gonna give you a real quick um peek at the cards that i created for the main stamp camp with ascending cheer bundle so i'm gonna flip or i'm just actually gonna show them really quick this way so here is card number one look at all those layers and then we have card number two with some fun embossing our third third card there and then a little fun little book fold card for that one. So the registration link is in the comments of my YouTube channel. And if you're watching from Facebook, you can find it through createwithbirdsnest.ca. For some reason, it would not allow me to link it up this morning. So I will put the link in the comments when we're done on Facebook. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. So again, till December 17th, you can register for the stamp camp. Now let's talk a little bit about Christmas week before we get started making today's project. So Michelle and I paired up last month in October for Halloween week, and we had so much fun. And you guys all like told us so many great things and you were so excited and so fun that we decided we would do it again. So this week we're gonna focus on Christmas cards and we have an extra ordering special for you too. So if you order this week, and I'm gonna pop up my host code using this host code right here. So anywhere in Canada you can order. I'm going to send you all four make and takes for the projects I'm sharing this week and the PDF for both mine and Michelle's. So you're going to have a total of eight projects that you can create for Christmas and um, it's going to be super fun. So your order has to be over $45. And if you, um, if it's over 60, I'm going to send you a free little gift as well. So use that host code. That's how I know you want the projects. If you don't use that, I don't know you want them and you won't get them. So make sure that host code is attached. Okay, <laughs> I think that's all I want to talk about right now because I'm really excited to share this project with you and I really want to get to stamping. So I'm going to leave the host code up there for just a brief moment and then I will pop it up again at the end. Now every Monday I come live every week, Monday morning, 10 a.m. So I do a creative challenge. So that's not different this week. I do have the challenge. Let me pop that up here. I'll remove the code so you can actually see it. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do a color challenge this week using Blueberry Bushel, Poppy Parade, and Pool Party. So every week I share a creative challenge, whether it be a color or a sketch. 
So this week we're going to go along with Christmas week and the color challenge for today. All right, are you guys ready? All right. Thank you for all of your comments, all of your hearts and your thumbs up. Thank you so much for sharing the video today too. And if you miss our live videos, don't worry because they're all recorded. You can come back and watch the replays anytime, okay? Good morning, Janet and Marsha and Tanya. Hello, everybody. So nice to see you all. All right, let's get started. So to start for this project, we are going to start with a blueberry bushel cardstock. This is just a full sheet, eight and a half by 11. Good morning, Bobby, nice to see you. Um, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer because we do need to change the size of this. So we're gonna make it um, eight and a half by eight and a half. So we wanna start with a square. So I'm just gonna line that up. Trim that off. So this piece I'm just going to set aside. I'll use that for another project down the road. Um, aw, thanks, Sandy. We love working together. We have so much fun. Um, okay, so here is the eight and a half by eight and a half square. Then I'm going to turn it into my trimmer. I'll get rid of that scrap piece. And I'm going to lay match one corner up into the cutting track and then the other corner down here in the cutting track. Okay, so what I'm going to do is create a triangle, two triangles, okay? So this is gonna be the base. So when you order this week, I'm gonna send you a full sh sheet of blueberry bushel cardstock. So you're gonna be able to cut two of these triangles um, and essentially make two of these little projects. Okay, so we do still need our cutting, our paper trimmer. This time we're gonna score. So you're gonna take, um, now you could also use your Simply Score tool but I'm going to, for simplicity, I'm going to just use my paper trimmer. So I'm going to take the wide end up here and I'm going to put it up along the top and I'm going to match this corner up to the four inch mark right here. And I am going to score that. And then, oh, I shouldn't have closed this. We need to open that up. I'm going to slide this over and I'm going to line that little corner up with the eight inch mark. So I'm scoring at four and eight. Okay, and that's all we need our paper trimmer for today. So we've got our cute little triangle. I'm gonna flip it over so the bumps are to the inside because it just folds a bit better that way. And we are going to fold it in. Let me grab my bone folder here. Oh, I had a, a fun new bone folder that I was gonna share with you guys today and I forgot it in my other room. So tomorrow I'll bring that in. <laughs> Okay, so we've got those in, we've got them burnished with our bone folder, then I'm going to take liquid glue. Um, you could also use tear tape for this, but you want to make sure um, that this is going to be like really good adhesive. You don't want to use like cheap stuff because you don't want this falling apart. Okay. <clears throat> now stamp and seal plus would work too, but you're not going to get quite as thin of a line, right? It's gonna be a little thicker. So we're going to put glue there and we're going to fold this down. And I am gonna use my bone folder again to just like squish that down and make sure that glue is really in there. And then I'm gonna put another bead of glue just along the bottom again and fold this one down. So we've got this super adorable little envelope. Okay, and there is a little bit of glue there. I'm just gonna wipe that off. It dries clear, so don't worry if you have a little bit showing. Okay. Now, from the Mary Bold and Bright Designer Series paper, you're going to need a four by two and a half piece of um, this fella la pattern or whatever pattern you like. If you, if you have another favorite, then use that. This one just happens to be my favorite. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use that. And it goes well with my color scheme this week of Blueberry Bushel and Poppy Parade. And we'll add the pool party in in just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add glue to this piece here. Okay, so I'm gonna put the glue up along the bottom and the two sides, but not along the top because when I go and attach it on here, I don't want it to glue inside the envelope to here. So just the left and the right edge and the bottom will work perfectly. All right, then we're gonna take a two inch. I'm pretty sure this is two inch, let me double check. 
Yes, two inch by four inch piece. And this time I've chosen these pointy little Christmas lights. Um, again, you could use any pattern you want. And when you get, when you place your order and you get your make and take kit, you might have a different pattern. You might get like the different light bulbs, um, the more round ones. So we're gonna layer that on. And I wanna make sure that the fa la 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 is really readable along the top or the bottom, whichever works out better with your piece. I just think that's so cute. Okay, so now we've got this adorable little envelope here. Okay. Good morning, Joanne. Hello, hi, Sherry and Colleen. Look at everybody here today. Welcome, everybody. Um, okay, so now here is a basic white three inch stylus shaped circle that I've die cut out. Um, and if you can see, there's that cute little stitching. You guys know these stylus shapes are my favorite dies to use when I just need like a basic shape. And then we're gonna use the Gift of Giving stamp set. This is in the mini catalog, um, item code 162075. It is super cute and I have been dying to use it. So this is the first project I've made with it and I just love, love these images. All right, so using some Memento ink, I am going to stamp this up. Make sure it's good and inked. And then I want it centered. Oh, I can't see very well. I need my I need my silicone mat so that I can see the white better. So make sure it's nicely centered. Oh, it's so cute. I love this image. All right, now I'm gonna cover that up before I get my sweatshirt in there. Now we're gonna do a wee bit of coloring. So I am going to start with this cookie up here and add in, so I'm using my pecan pie. This is the dark, so I'm gonna color what I'm gonna call chocolate chips <laughs> um, because chocolate chip cookies are probably one of my favorites. So I'm gonna color these with the dark and then just do a quick little outline here. My goodness, this image is so sweet. What do you guys think? Don't you think that's adorable? All right, so now with my light uh, pecan pie, going in a circular motion because that does help to blend the inks together, right? I'm going to just color in that cookie. And then I'm going to take Pool Party because that was the third color in our color combination challenge this week. So I'm going to use Pool Party to color the mug. And just using the dark pool party to color the inside of the mug. And then I'm just going to do a quick little outline here of this image. And it is just so adorable, you guys. Like, there's so many things you could do with this stamp set. Um, this is just something that popped into my mind last night when I was sitting down to design the four projects for Christmas week. So tomorrow, I'm super excited to share with you a scrapbook layout. A number of you guys were so excited last time we did Halloween week when Michelle and I both shared scrapbook layouts. So we're going to do it again. And tomorrow, when you join me at 10 a.m. Pacific time, I'm going to share a fun scrapbook layout with you guys. All right. So I'm just, see what I did there? I just kind of outlined the, the letters because I really wanted this cup of cheer to kind of stand out. So if I bring that up closer to the camera, you can see that I've kind of highlighted around that as well. Then we'll just take the light pool party and the color in the handle. Again, with that circular motion to help blend the inks together. We'll color that in. So cute, this stamp set. Just wait till you guys see what I pop inside this little envelope. You're going to love it. So cute. Okay. So super simple little gift to make, um, to hand out, give to hostesses if you're going somewhere for over the holidays, or maybe you have guests coming to your house and you want to have a little something waiting for them, this would be super fun. All right, now we'll take some granny apple green, and I'm just going to color in the leaves here. And I'm not going to worry about shading these ones. I'm just going to color them solid with the dark.
I love all of the like places to put different colors in this image. It's fun. Okay, so for the candy cane, I'm also going to make it green and red stripes. Sometimes they're just red and white, but for this one, I want it to be green and red. So coloring, I hope I'm getting the right stripes here. Some of the stripes green, and then I'm gonna grab Poppy Parade um, Dark and just color in the little berries. Now you could leave the berries white too, but I like them red because they're a little more festive that way. And then I'm gonna color in the stripes here with red. Okay, we're almost done coloring. Oh, hi, TJ. Good morning. Yes, I missed you guys there yesterday, too. It would have been so fun to come be with you guys. All right, so here is this. But see how these wa these marshmallows are just white? And there's not a lot of depth to them. So I'm going to take my light gray granite, and I'm just really lightly going to kind of highlight around them. Now, I don't know. I hope you guys can see this in the video, because it does really make them kind of pop. It's just a wee bit of color added to that. Can you see that? Just sort of pops them out a bit away from the white background. So there is our cup of cheer circle all colored up and ready to be added onto our project. So I've got that there. I need to grab some dimensionals. And I'm just going to put three dimensionals down the center. This is such an easy project, you guys. Good morning, Alana. And it turns out so super cute. Okay, so we're going to stick this over top of our designer paper. And making sure I didn't put the dimensional too, too close because I didn't want it to glue my envelopes shut. Okay, so there we have that. And then we're going to add a few little bits of bling. And so for this project, because of the colors I've used, I thought that these, which are the Tinsel Gem 4-pack, would be super fun because I love the blueberry bushel in there. Grab my take a pick tool and I'm just going to add a couple of these little gems because we need a little sparkle like that. So I've got three and then to stuff inside you could put all different kinds of things in here, right? Like if you you could do lots, but what I thought because of the cup of cheer here, how cute is it to add in a little pack of hot chocolate? Then you could add a little candy cane and even a little wooden spoon for stirring like that. And, oh, that doesn't look very, there we go. That looks better over on that side, but you could play around with it. But see how this envelope is just giving and giving and giving, and you could still add more. You could add a little sleeve of marshmallows in there. Um, you could put a little piece of chocolate. Like you can just keep adding until your envelope is about to burst, <laughs> but don't let it burst. That wouldn't be good. But isn't that a sweet little project? And it's super simple to make. You could switch it up and make so many different colors. Um, and the nice thing is, it's not all that thick. So, you I mean, you could post it in the mail um, and just put an extra postage stamp um, on it. And what a cute little gift to receive. So that is my project for week, our day one of Christmas week. Um, I'm so excited to share that with you. And you guys, seriously, if you didn't, if you missed Michelle's video, head on over to Owl Star Stampers and check out the cute, adorable little box she made today um, using the Merry Bold and Bright Designer Series paper. We both love that one so much. So you're going to see a lot of it this week. Um, and she also used the Sending Cheer Bundle. So that is, oh my gosh, look at my mess. I didn't even realize you could see all that mess over there. <laughs> So again, remember, when you order, you want to make sure that you use the host code for the week, which is this one right here. So when you order for that, this host code, that tells me that you want these Christmas projects and you want the make and takes mailed to you. All right. So be sure to use the host code when you order. If your order is over $45, you're going to get all four make and takes. And if 
the PDF from my projects and Michelle's. So a total of eight PDF tutorials. You'll also get a free little gift if your order is over 60 and this host code is attached. So remember, that's the key. That tells me that, yes, I do want all those Christmas week projects. Um, if you don't use that, I don't know that you want them, okay? Um, oh my goodness, yes, Jennifer, it would be so cute to cheer somebody up. If somebody's just having, you know, a rough go, then this would be a super fun little thing to send in the mail. And you could use... Um, you could switch it. It didn't even have to be Christmas. You could put something else on here. Um, so, yes, thank you all so very much for being here today and for stamping with me this morning. Um, I cannot wait to come back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time to share a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout with you. Um, again, with a Christmas theme, of course. So be sure to check out Michelle's tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time, uh, noon Eastern time for her. And I will be live right after at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is 1 Eastern time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, oh, my goodness. Yes, Carla just said, what a cute secret Santa gift. Yes, that would be super cute, too. Um, and you could fill, like I said, so many different things in here. You could fit embellishments and dimensionals and all kinds of things. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. And I will see you back here tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful day.